And let's have a look. And uh, there is uh, that's Uta Brooks as part of this group. They haven't quite tagged them just yet. And that is, I'm afraid, uh, a man who's not at his absolute best today, Vlasov. Let's see if he can regather himself. If he, he's kind of meerkatting just a little bit to see if uh, Kusin and Lander are, are about to be uh, caught. The answer is no. Uh, Lander's further up the road than Kuss and Harper. And uh, they're in no man's land at the moment, just about to be collected by that Vlasov group, as you can see, as declared at minute and six. I think everyone's going to be a minute away from Tony Bocaccio at the end of the day. Let's see, uh, Lander's clearly going to be the nearest man to him. But what a ride by this man. Look at him go, Brian. He's, he's still... This looks like much earlier in the day, considering the climbs he's already had to indeed take on today. He's dominated those and indeed the entire field as predicted. I don't be fooled the way he looks. He's, he's making a big effort here. Yeah. Um, but contrasting style. See, a little bit smaller gear in the saddle. Wow, you look at Lander... A little bit bigger gear out the saddle um, and making it look harder. Um, Pogaccia, his style, makes it look easy. So, you know, this is Lander coming around this corner now. We, we look a little bit further back um, to see the rest. Or is that... Uh, that's Pogaccia. No, that's um, that's Lander. But the looks of things, Kuss and Harper have been caught back. Now we're starting to see an acceleration. Or is that Harper that's coming that's around the Harper corner? That's Harper around the corner, and that's Kuss just being collected by the looks of things. Yeah. So uh, let's wait and see. I'm expecting Enric Mas to do something, because um, Movistar, they had the numbers. Um, he was the rider that made the big effort yesterday at Walter Dos Mayo. He was the rider that kind of came out the blue um, and came back to some of the riders that were in that group. So I'm kind of half expecting Enric Mas to, to do a kind of last-ditch effort um, and possibly try and come across to, to Lander. Well, it's starting to shred down there. Some, somebody's uh, broken out of it. I was actually saying, uh, just about to say that I'd love to see Perry Pantra have a, have a dig, uh, to be honest, uh, from this group. Um, it is Vlasov who's come to the fore. Tried it, didn't quite work out for him, I'm afraid. Still wrestling the pedals. Tiberi now in front of uh, Vogt Pols is just off uh, your screen. Uh, there as well within this group, um, you kind of look through them, and and you're just filled with um, the suffering that they're they're actually going through. This man, Lander, he's at 43 seconds, 44. He's holding margin at the moment, which means he's matching the pace of Telepakacha in the toughest part of this climb. Lander's really found himself, you know, Brian, in this race. That's oh, good to see, and it is Henrik Mas that's yep. deciding to go after it. He made a a, la a, a late push. Uh, yesterday, another late push today. Can he get to Lander? That's the question. Can he keep ahead of the others? He'll be again moving up in the general classification if he can keep this effort up. But Vlasov was forced. Mm. You've got to remember he's sitting there in third place in the general classification. He got three seconds at the bottom of the climb. He's got about well, 20, 30 seconds in most of the others. So he's trying to kind of hang on to his podium place. Christian Rodriguez was part of that group as well uh, for our care. Uh, B and B hotels, uh, good for him. Meanwhile, finally he allows himself a look back down the mountain. Well, he's inside the Flam Rouge. He's uh, just got to bring this one home, and of course he will. He can almost walk it. Uh, the remainder, toughest part has uh, just been dealt with, by the way. So it's flattening out for him, Brian. 47 seconds. I'm, I'm giving myself my own little sweepstake in my mind as to what the gap will be at the end uh, to Mikkel Lander, who wants uh, a hatful of time if he can possibly get it, because there's a chase on in arrears of Lander for the time being. Chris Harper just about to be uh, absorbed, but uh, good as well to see Enric Mas just uh, showing that ambition to try and bridge over here. And here he is. Vlasov still leading the chase group. And this is nice to see, Brian. We've got some great names up front now. Yeah, we have uh, Mass starting to show a little bit. He, he, he leaves it late. He, he decides he can't go with the accelerations further down the climb. Uh, Sepp Kuss and Harper are being absorbed by this group. Glass off is the rider that, uh, you know, is pushing. But looking at uh, Pogacar in front, he's moved a couple inches forward in his saddle. He's, he's not... He makes it look easy. But he's trying hard... You know, look at his position here, yeah. right? He's moved forward, he's, he's given it. You can see his facial mo uh, movements as well. 
This is a hard effort for him. It looks as if he's going to get possibly a minute in Landa by the finishing line. Um, but Landa hopefully will hang on to second place. Second place in the stage yet again. Second place in general classification. He'll be happy with that. What can Mass do? Can Mass keep keep that third place? I'm sure that we'll see something happen from the uh, Vlasov group. I agree, and it'll be Vlasov himself that uh, absolutely goes empty. Uh, meanwhile, Tanya Bukacha just bouncing through the cars. Team buses sail by those. They're about 300 metres down from the finish line. So he's, there it is, uh, into the uh, barriered section with that distance remaining. And in fact, uh, there's the 200 marker for you. And the fans who've made their own way up here. Four and a half hours. This is supposed to end much later. And he's already acknowledging those who've uh, made the trip. Some snow melt coming across the, uh, the road here, but he has well if you're uh, if you're a fan of his you melted your heart a long time ago i think it's fair to say how can you not be tanner bocaccia is just man magnificent at the moment into the sunshine he comes and another job very very well done tanner bocaccia kapow now the clock starts to count let's see if it is a minute back to michael lander who himself is just about to get to that hoarded section i think he might well have closed down just a little bit, let's wait and see. Lander determined to nail that second place. Overall, he sat in that position at the beginning of the day, and he's going to be more comfortable in that spot, I think, by the end of it. This is a strong performance, and there's Vlasov, that Vlasov group, uh, still wrestling. Sepp Kuss is there as well. well Poles is, uh, is now also part of proceedings. They've uh, absorbed Enric Mass and closed the gap just a little bit on Mikkel Lander, who's in the last 50 metres now. Or he is now, I should say. Takes that final turn, comes to the line, and that is a very good showing by Mikkel Lander, I must say. 48 seconds is his deficit at the end, but gets a four bonus seconds as well. And this is Volk Poles now just being guided in, as you can see, by uh, Tiberi. And in fact, it's uh, those they cross the line for Bahrain victorious. Sepkus coming home. This is Vlasov, no bonus seconds for him. Damage limitation, perhaps, by uh, by Vlasov. But what a day, and what a leader of this race. Absolutely in charge, just needs to finish off the job. Some great riders here, Brian, distanced by over a minute 20. Uh, Tony Vukacha takes the day by a margin of 48 seconds ahead of Mikkel Lander. Tiberi nearest to him, rolling over with uh, Volk Pohl, so had a good performance today. Same time as Sepp Kuss. Vlasov, minute and ten, so stays on the podium. Gosh. Telepokacha, no chinks in his armour. Crisp and crunchy in the morning, and then you get that magical spring snow. Well, the magic today, no melt. Pogacha leads the race now by two minutes and 27 over Lander.